up guys welcome back to another episode of Duke's Outfitters where today I am doing an unpaid review of a company that I found that I buy my flies from uh, a lot of people have said something to me along the lines of like yo dude you should tie your own flies it's a lot cheaper blah 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 well no it's not I spent $40 and got like 40 flies from these people and I don't have to waste the time tying them. I can't really tie great flies to begin with and I don't want to mess with it because I have construction projects and leather projects and all kinds of other things I'm dealing with. And I don't want to mess with it. So I've got the package right here. This is $40 worth of flies, $47, something like that. Uh, haven't even opened it yet. Let's see here. So the main thing with this company is they're very cheap. Uh, it's very affordable. They're about 70 cents a fly for like woolly buggers. Um, the poppers are a little more. They're like 250 for a fly, but even still, I mean, compared to spending all that time making, I mean, you're going to spend 30 minutes, 20 minutes tying one unless you're really good at it. Um, so these are the baby buggers. Let me see. Okay. So these are the baby buggers. I think it was like a size eight or something like that. Uh, whoa, yeah. um, I mean, it is what it is. It's a nice little fly. These are uh, some more woolly buggers with the little rubber arms on them. Um, I've been buying for these from these people for like two or three months now, and I do a lot of fly fishing. I've only had one fly fall apart, and uh, really, to be honest, I was casting the out of that fly and I was like hitting it on things and really just being sloppy with what I was doing um, and so I really don't blame the fly for falling apart I mean anything I tie is not gonna withstand the abuse that I was putting that fly through um, so I really can't complain they've got all different options and colors they've got beaded or like weighted with beads weighted with like the lead wire here's some of the same thing but it's unweighted. There's nothing in them. So they've got hoppers. Look at these cute guys. I'm gonna zoom in on him. Ooh. Maybe, maybe I'll zoom in and focus on him. There he is, nice little hopper. What a cutie. <laughs> oh, someone's probably gonna make fun of me for saying that, but I don't care. It's a cute little hopper. I got a bunch of those. Um, bunch of nice little beetles here. And I've got a bunch of these guys. I'm gonna lay this all out and like show you kind of like a shot of, or I'm gonna show you a shot of like all the different stuff that I got because I'm only showing you one of each of the items that I got. So these I've never had before and uh, my initial impression is that they look really good. These are like a bass popper. We're gonna zoom in again here. Nice bass popper. It's a deer hair popper, it's not foam. Um, it's got some cute little feathers and some, uh, what is this called? Uh, I don't remember, but it's got the nice little, like the little sparkly add-ons there. Those are really great. It's got the nice little rubber legs. These are 250 a pop, man. I mean, you really can't beat it. Oh, and it's got some nice little like googly eyes. <laughs> That's funny, I've never seen googly eyes on a fly. I got a couple of those and, ooh, I'm super excited about this. I got a face mask. This face mask was like three dollars and fifty cents. I mean, you really can't, you really can't beat that. And it's a brown trout. And despite, if you've seen my Instagram, you probably won't believe this, but I'm a terrible trout fisherman. Um, I like doing it. Uh, I have fun when I go, but I don't live near trout, so I don't get a lot of practice. It's nice, it's comfy, it's pretty thin, it's got good stretch to it, good pattern. Hopefully everyone doesn't think I'm wearing like a cheetah mask. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really it, man. I'm gonna lay these out, I'm gonna show you guys like how many I got. Like I said, it was 40 flies, 40 bucks, plus the mask. Um, really good deal, really sweet company. This is completely unpaid. Uh, I'm just doing this because I like the company and I feel like making a YouTube video. Um, so yeah, let's check out all these flies. Okay, so here we are at my workbench. As you can see, $40 of flies will barely even fit in the screen. Just to kind of show you guys some of the selection here. Now, I don't care what you say, 
but $40 is not going to get you the materials to tie all these flies. I mean, you'd really have to invest in all different sizes, hooks, different colors, different color legs, uh, deer hair, feathers, foam, the time for all of this. I mean, that's $40. It's just, it's 40 bucks. <laughs> it's really not, it's really not the end of the world. Wooly Bugger Fly Company, this is what their logo looks like. It's a little circle. I'm gonna put a link down to them right down below just so it's easy for you guys to access. And uh, if you guys are not subscribers, please subscribe. Please go follow my Instagram. All of the links are gonna be down below to subscribe to my YouTube. Just hit that little subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you can get notified for my future videos. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch y'all next time on another episode of Duke's Outfitters. flies look and if I think they're gonna do a good job and this is the wrong thing so this isn't even what I was expecting in the mail this is a uh, <laughs> this is a sprinkler cover for uh, for a construction project of mine so fuck me right <laughs> well I guess I'll uh, I'll do this later <laughs>